The next time you go through a drive through you might want to be more careful. We have a warning tonight from a Saskatoon driver about using your fast food app while in the drive through line. And as Carla Shinkrick explains, a trip to get some lunch cost him a lot more. I'm barely even moving, I'm just rolling. And I go like this to open up my McDonald's app. And I look in my rear view mirror, and there's a motorcycle cop behind me. That happened when Mason Prima left work to get some lunch. He wanted to use up a free lunch that he had earned on his McDonald's app. The officer came to his window. Show him. I'm like, I'm on my McDonald's app. I'm loading up the code right now to get a free meal. I did think he was just going to let me go because... I'm just trying to get a free meal. Lunch Turns dinner. out to be a very expensive lunch. The whole thing for Mason was contradictory since he needed the app to complete his order, a catch-22. Yeah, I was kind of just shocked, to be honest, because I've never had that before. I open my app up every time I go to the drive-thru. And the reason it's shocking, according to a local criminal defense lawyer, is that there is a lot of gray area when it comes to technology and the law. I feel for the individual that, that got charged here, if, if he was just literally, in fact, in a drive through area, not on a public roadway. Feverly admits he doesn't have all the particulars in this case, but says having an officer catching cell phone users in a drive through doesn't seem to be a good use of resources for police. And I would venture to guess that a great majority of people would utilize their cell phones in and lineups such as that probably shouldn't be considered illegal, but it's obviously debatable. He says cell phone use is clearly dangerous, but questions the like, circumstances like, here. I didn't have my foot on the gas or brake. It was just rolling, like barely moving. The ticket amount is $580, which for this 18-year-old is a hefty amount, but he's most concerned about the demerits off his license. We reached out to Saskatoon police who said, without knowing all particulars, they couldn't comment on this case. Prima feels strongly that he should not have to pay this ticket, and he's prepared to fight it in court. That date is set for July 31st. First, Carla Shinkrook, CTV News, Saskatoon.